It's week 45 of A Year of Wisdom. Let's get to reading. Day 309. Joke 5. Cry out now. Will anyone answer you? To which of the holy ones will you turn? For resentment kills a fool and envy slays the simple. I myself have seen a fool taking root, but suddenly I cursed his dwelling. His sons are far from safety and crushed at the gate without a deliverer. The hungry consumes his harvest, taking it even from among thorns, and the thirsty pants after their wealth. For evil does not come from the dust, nor does trouble sprout from the ground. Yet man is born for trouble as surely as sparks fly upward. But as for me, I would seek God. I would lay my cause before God. Who does great things beyond comprehension, wonders without number? Who gives rain to the earth and sends water over the plains? Who places the lowly on high and lifts mourners to salvation? Who frustrates the plans of the crafty so that their hands attain no success? Who catches the clever in their craftiness and thwarts the plan of the cunning? By day they encounter darkness and grope at noon as if it were night. But he saves the needy from the sword of their mouth and from the clutches of the mighty. So the helpless have hope and injustice shuts its mouth. Behold, happy is the one whom God corrects. And so do not despise the discipline of Shaddai. For he inflicts pain, but he also binds up. He injures, yet his hands also heal. From six calamities he will deliver you, even in seven no harm will touch you. In famine he will redeem you from death, and in war from the power of the sword. You will be hidden from the lash of the tongue, and not fear when violence comes. You will laugh at violence and famine, and will not fear the beasts of the earth. For you will have a covenant with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field will be at peace with you. You will know shalom in your tent, and you will take stock of your home and find nothing missing. You will know that your descendants will be numerous, your offspring like the grass of the earth. You will come to the grave in vigor like sheaves of grain in its season. Behold, we have investigated this. It is true. Hear it and apply it to yourself. Proverbs 5 My son, pay attention to my wisdom. Incline your ear to my insight that you may maintain discretion and your lips may preserve knowledge. For a seducing woman's lips drip honey, and her mouth is smoother than oil, but in the end she's bitter as wormwood, sharp as a double-edged sword. Her feet go down to death, her steps lead straight to Sheol. She does not keep straight to the path of life, her paths are crooked, but she does not know it. So now, my sons, listen to me, and do not turn aside from the words of my mouth. Keep your path far from her, and do not go near the door of her house, lest you give your strength to others and your years to one who is cruel. Lest strangers feast on your strength, your labors go to a foreigner's house. At the end of your life you will groan when your flesh and body are spent, and you will say, How I hated discipline, how my heart spurned reproof. I would not listen to my teacher's voice or incline my ear to my instructor's. I was almost in utter ruin amid the community and congregation. Drink water from your own cistern and running water from your own well. Should your springs flow in the streets, your streams of water in public squares, let them be yours alone and not shared with strangers. May your fountain be blessed and may you delight in the wife of your youth. A lovely hind, a graceful doe, may her breasts satisfy you always, may you always be captivated by her love. Why, my son, be captivated by a seducing woman? Why embrace a foreigner's bosom? For a man's ways are before the eyes of Adonai, and he observes all his paths. The iniquities of a wicked man will ensnare him. The cords of his sin will hold him down. He will die for lack of discipline, led astray by his own great folly. Ecclesiastes 5 do not be quick with your mouth, nor hasty in your heart to utter a word in God's presence. For God is in heaven, and you are on earth. Therefore, let your words be few. As a dream comes with excessive burdens, so a fool's voice with too many words. When you swear a vow to God, don't delay in fulfilling it. For he takes no delight in fools. Pay what you vow. 
It is better for you not to vow than to vow and not pay. Don't let your mouth lead your flesh to sin and don't say before the messenger, it was a mistake. Why should God be angry at your voice and destroy the work of your hands? Many dreams and many words are meaningless. Therefore, fear God. If you see the oppression of the poor or perversion of justice and righteousness in the province, do not be shocked at that matter. For one authority watches over another authority and higher ones are over them. Though the profit of the land is taken by all, a king is served by the fields. A lover of money never has enough money, and a lover of wealth is never satisfied with his income. This too is futile. When goods increase, so do those who consume them. So what advantage are they to the owner except he sees it with his own eyes? The sleep of the laborer is sweet whether he eats little or much, but the excess of the rich permits him no sleep. There is a grievous wrong that I have seen under the sun, wealth hoarded by its owner to his own hurt, or wealth lost in a bad investment, and when he fathers a son, there is nothing in his hand. As he came from his mother's womb, naked he will return as he came. He takes nothing from his labor that he can carry in his hand. This too is a grievous wrong. Just as he came, so will he go, so what does he gain from his toiling for the wind? So all his days he eats in darkness, and he has much grief, sickness, and humiliation. Behold, this is what I myself have seen. It is beneficial and good for one to eat and drink and enjoy all of his toil that he labors for under the sun during the few days of his life that God has given him, for this is his reward. Additionally. Everyone to whom God has given riches and wealth and empowers him to eat from it, to receive his share and to rejoice in his labor, this is a gift of God. For he will not consider the days of his life, since God keeps him occupied with the joy of his heart. And, as always, thank you so much for being here today. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button right there. And click the bell if you want notifications. And hit that like button too. And I will see you tomorrow. Maranatha. And go without a doubt. You'll carry me out of the storm. I'm standing at the crossroads. I'm lost without a clue. I need a big pink neon sign to show me what to do. I thank you, Lord, it glorifies you when you're the only answer. I praise you, Lord, for holding what's too much for me. And I'm amazed by you, Lord, because nothing's too big and nothing's too small to lay at your feet.